Hello guys, D Games Arcade here and um, I am today playing Game of Harlem Globetrotters. Now, I think how this is going to work is instead of me going for the high score, although I will keep a score tally on the little camera, is that I'm going to try and last as long as I can because this is a very hard machine. Now, when I say hard, I mean look at the place, so there's nothing on it. There's like Nothing here except on the sides, and then up here is where all the pop bumpers are and targets. They're basically everything to do. Now, the problem with this machine being hard is, um, for one, this machine is leaning. Now, I've tried doing stuff, but the legs are just too old and rusted, so I'm gonna have to buy new ones. But it, so the machine is um, tilted a bit, a little bit that way, like left. But the machine, when it ejects from the hole, basically just goes down the center almost like 50% of the time. What's called the outlane, the evil, but the worst way to, dra to like drain is if the flippers go up, there's a gap in here. So when you try to hit it, if you hit it too well, there is a possibility it just goes straight through and then down. Now, let's start. Now, the only problem which some of you might have noticed already is that none of the, um, what they're called, lighting work, like, how do I say it? Um, computer controlled lighting works, so that's my only problem. But anyway, let's start. Yeah. machine is hard mainly because with the newer ones if you drain within like the first 10 to 30 seconds the ball will save you this machine the only way you can save that ball is if you don't touch a single thing and let it go down and anyway, let's go Shame. Um, twenty thousand. 
Oh, I know, 200. No, is it? No. Yeah, it's 200,000, right? No. Hey. Frick. No, yeah, 200,000. Alright, anyway, well, we're good. So I'm not good at um, cafes, of course. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, we'll see you next time.